Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another week. Welcome to another Facebook Live. We have spent the last two weeks looking at how to bring the head back. How do we bring the shoulders back? How do we stop you going into a forward posture that occurs when we sit a lot and when we're working at home at a desk that isn't set up for us a lot? And last week, we started to talk about the rest of the body. This week, we're going to talk about the hip flexors. We're going to talk about how the pelvis can be affected when we sit down. And when I sit down like this, I shorten the muscles here. When I'm standing, they're lengthened. When I sit, they're shortened. And this is a problem because as I stand up, if I'm a little bit weak through my core, and most people are these days, I can end up with an anterior pelvic tilt. When my pelvis, we we'll roll the chair out of the way, when my pelvis ends up tipping forward and my bottom sort of sticks out, the first thing you can do is look at yourself, this is my Britney Spears moment here, the first thing you can do is look at yourself and say, is my pelvis tilting forward or is it level? And this is a very simple, straightforward exercise. Standing there, side onto a mirror, look at the line of your trousers or your shorts, whatever you're wearing, your leggings, they will almost certainly follow the crests of the pelvis as Sid is demonstrating here. And we want that to be level. If it's tipping forward, it crushes all the vertebrae together, it squashes them together, it shortens the muscles, it can trap nerves, it's not a comfortable place to be and it occurs when we sit a lot. So we can do what we said last week, we can just stand up briefly now and again to break the pattern that we discussed, but fundamentally, it's about being aware of that pelvis position. You stand in the mirror and you look at that line and you try to level your own pelvis by rocking it back and forth. If you're successful in this, it will do what mine did. I'll show you again, just so you can see my uh, tummy again. Here, I have an anterior tilt going on. Who's that coming up? Hey, it's my sister. Hi, Debs. And if I tuck my tailbone under like that, my pelvis goes straight. The inability to do that is why most men find they can't dance. They can't separate their pelvis from the rest of their body. And what they end up doing is move their entire body in one go. And you may see this. When you try this yourself, this may happen. As you try to physically shift your pelvis, you may just find your entire body goes with it. And that is something that's really good to work on on a daily basis. Learn to get your pelvis to move independently of your body and check every day in the mirror to see if it's getting more and more level. Every day this week, we are going to look at an exercise that will loosen off the hip flexors, that will help your pelvis stay in what we call neutral, flat, and will take the pressure off your lower back. But awareness of where it is, is the biggest tool we have. So I'll see you tomorrow with a first of a big exercise that can help you get this process going. Take care for now.